Okay, for those who want to move uh, the figures or anything around on your video, right? You can actually using the filter called positions. So let's go to filter, go to add, and then choose type in the search field here. Choose uh, position. All right, and then. positions and then you can click on this so once you've done that actually you can see that there is some preset which you can use a slide from left or slide from right right so you can actually use it or if you want to do it manually you can do this as well uh, let's go back to here right so to move things in videography you call this uh, we need to use the principle of a uh, keyframe Right, so how keyframe work is, first of all, uh, you need to slide your this uh, current time indicator to somewhere you want to move from, right? And then in the positions here, right, let's click on here, and then type in, uh, let's do this, minus 400, right? So when you type minus 400, you're instructing the computer to move this uh, object right, or this uh, talent to the left right if you type 400 positive it will move to the right if you type 0 it will stay at the default or the original positions so now if I want to move from left I will just type minus 400 right and then after this I need to keyframe means I need to register to tell the computer where am I right now so you are in in 28.06 this is my uh, durations uh. for the starting of this clip actually is uh, at around 27 uh. so I have moved the front a bit right it is 28 okay 28 and then here I can actually keyframe it so keyframe means you just click on this stopwatch icon so sometimes if this is hidden right what you do is just use the uh, dividers uh, here and then slightly slide up slide out a bit right so you can see this stopwatch icon here so click on this stopwatch to get the keyframe so once you click immediately this whole workspace uh, or this uh, timeline area will change to keyframe uh, timeline right so it looks a bit different uh, which you can see the small little diamonds icon here to register where is your positions at this duration so if you move to the front forward slightly right and then you move this uh, uh, object to the center which is zero right in positions here you type zero it will move to the center Alright, so from here, you see that there is a two different registrations. One is at uh, 28.10 and then another one is at durations of 29.19. Right, so at 2.8, you have to tell the computer to register the position somewhere. And then at 2.8, Nine, you tell the computer to register the positions to zero. All right, so this will cause the animations happen in this video.